Hello, my name is Malik Okimi, and first I'm going to be presenting for Engineering and Math Team. So this is my homework uh, assessment and completion chart, also for anomaly testing. So this is not the last chart I got, this is the first one, because I'm presenting on the, the first test, which is still. So here for the homework, I got all fours, and this did you check your answers and complete your homework? Yes, and I don't know what that says, but it's a yes. And uh, for the assessment scores for the quiz, I did good on most of them. There's like some three event variations uh, here and here, but I did good for most of them. And for study, I just pay attention to class. It's kind of easy for me, so I'm just doing it for the study. Um, maintaining an A. Like I said, it's easy, so I just did good on the homework, test, quizzes, basically just getting good grades. Uh, my lowest essential skill is uh, essential skill one, learning target 1.3 proofs. Only thing is, I kept writing definition of congruent before classifying the angles, like right here. Basically, I just gotta switch these steps and then steps. Uh, so here's two quiz problems and here's two test problems. So here I gotta switch the steps, I didn't do them, and here I did do them right. I didn't get all of them right on the test, but I got a lot of them, because I still got confused for some reason. Uh, semester analysis, I deserve an A, just because of my good grades. And now for the chemistry field. Okay, so I'm going to be presenting on the unit one gases, random molecular motion, gas laws, standard temperature and pressure, Celsius and Kelvin, and ideal gas law. So random molecular motion is basically uh, the molecules, they don't move in a specific way, it's just all random, it's all random, they're all bouncing off of each other, and it also plays a part in diffusion, which is like it's just two different gases, random molecular motion uh, makes them slowly diffuse like they integrate into each other. Uh, gas law, so Boyle's law means that if volume goes down, pressure goes up, so that's an inverse relationship. Mm -hmm. Charles's law is if volume goes down and temperature goes up, it's also Wait, no. Hmm, I think I did that wrong. That's also an inverse relationship. Volume goes down, temperature goes up. Temperature goes up. No, I screwed up. You said correct. It is a correct. Yeah. 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 Alright, so if temperature goes up, volume goes up. Inverse, I mean, direct relationship. And then uh, if pressure goes up and temperature goes up, that's Gay Lussac's law. It's also a direct relationship. And then the combined gas law is basically they're all put together. And you use the combined gas law as a formula to solve uh, gas law problems to find different variables. Uh, STP is standard temperature and pressure. Uh, standard pressure is one atmosphere. It's also 760 mmHg and 760 torr. And standard temperature is 272 K, which equals zero degrees Celsius, which is also absolute zero. Uh, and it, STP is the best conditions for gas experiments because they all react, react similarly in the DQ. Um, Celsius and Kelvin, basically Celsius is Kelvin minus 273 or Kelvin is Celsius plus 273. Ideal gas law means that uh, atom collisions are perfectly elastic, meaning it's only kinetic energy, there's no intermolecular intermolecular forces just been bouncing off each other and these are the constants that you use to solve ideal gas law problems and depending on what uh, what you're solving for you use a different constant so if you're solving for moles pressure or uh, volume you use different ones and this is the ideal gas law formula right here and that's that's some things like that you can turn off the video